to invite Sri Rakesh Rawal, CEO, Anand Rakti West Limited. I think, uh, uh, first and foremost, I'm overwhelmed uh, to be uh, standing here. Uh, it's like it's a dream of a professional, uh, of an entrepreneur to be part of an IPO. I think it's also a dream of a professional to be involved in an IPO, to start something from relatively small to bring it to, to this point. Uh, and therefore, to start with, I'd like to thank everyone in my team, and I genuinely mean this, yeah, that without the contribution of several of the people sitting here and several of the people not sitting here, we wouldn't be here. Uh, you know, when we, when I joined Amit in Wealth Management in 2007, the whole idea was that if we have to make ourselves relevant in this highly competitive environment where all the foreign bankers and every other bank is there in wealth management, we had to create a differentiator. And therefore, we thought and over the period of time developed that differentiator, starting with the focus clients of 5 to 50 crores and not going for the full pie, so to say. Then, carving out the strategy which would attract or be attractive to this uh, client segment that we had. Our focus on people was immense from the beginning and, and shared with the philosophies of Anandrati, which is an entrepreneurial culture and genuine care for people. This, this philosophy in, of, uh, of the group of genuine care, there are thousands of examples as we've gone along where this has been displayed and that created the relationship bonding within within the company as well as outside. So that is the third element of differentiator, right? And today therefore we are uh, been continuously getting the Great Place of Work Award. Yeah. All this so all this has sort of led to the current level of where we are. I agree with Amit that this is just the beginning and this young team that we have uh, has a very, 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 very long way to go. The kind of potential that there is, this is, I would say, uh, restricted by supply rather than demand and therefore we will grow to the extent that we are capable of growing rather than there being constraints in the marketplace. So I wish uh, all of you fantastically well. I welcome the investors who have joined us in this family and uh, will, as professionals, do our best to ensure that uh, their experience with us is a very, very happy one. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Now I would like to invite Mr. Feroz Aziz, Deputy CEO, for the last 10 years, I'm brought to you well to address this all this gathering. Hope I can do this. such a momentous occasion for our business uh, to get to a stage, of course, which is a beginning like Rakesh sir mentioned. Uh, when it comes to uh, we as professionals, uh, what binds us together is the passion to create wealth uh, for HNI families. Now that we have lakhs of shareholders uh, whom also we could touch in some form and fashion, uh, I think it will propel our passion uh, to create wealth for them. Uh, our firm belief as a group has been uh, to create a foundation of education 
and that's why we've done thousands of electronic media educative uh, programs, hundreds of uh, investor educative uh, events, which has resulted in creating a foundation for our clients. This foundation, which is very, very important, has helped in rational decision making. The rational decision making, keeping emotions outside, is a very important attribute of an investor. And that's why, uh, for illustrative purpose, if you look at uh, last year, when equity mutual funds as an industry or category lost sizable assets, Anandrati clients had a net purchase in equity. Uh, it has also resulted in uh, we becoming uh, the largest mutual fund distributor, non-aggregator and non-banking platform, which I'm sure is still the beginning. Uh, our mathematical approach, a mathematical approach in every step of investing, starting from goal setting to asset allocation to product selection, has created efficiency in client portfolios. And in turn has been very, very refreshing and has acceptance across our ever-growing client set. This has resulted in very, very robust numbers for us in the past and hopefully in the future as well. Our assets under management have grown by close to 23% for the last three years. Our return on equity weighted average has been 28% odd. Our, our EPS number, for example, in FY19, which was 14 and a half rupees approximately, uh, on an annualized basis for this year, works out to 29 odd rupees. All these numbers are possible because of client support, because of the umbilical cord you create as a wealth manager with the relationships by doing fair and great work for them, not just in managing their wealth. Because HI money is intergenerational, we have created several wills, thousands of wills for free for our clients. Now, of course, in several media interactions, you generally ask this question. Uh, what's, what lies ahead? What lies in store for this business? Uh, if you look at the wealth management industry, like Amit Saab mentioned, it's a very large industry and growing at a very, very healthy pace. In this industry, if all the embedded growth drivers which this wealth management business possesses, if we don't grow at 20-25%, I personally would be extremely disappointed. Having said which, I think uh, we welcome all the investors and the excitement uh, we have to have lakhs of people we can influence is unexpressible uh, in words. Uh, we will do our best, like Rakesh sir mentioned, uh, to put in the energy and put in our professional best uh, to add value to each one who has trusted us. I thank the Lord. I thank Rati ji, Amit, Rakesh sir, who has been a guiding light to me professionally, and my family, my wife Sarah, who has been a rock solid support and my parents and my wonderful colleagues i would love to name each one of them uh, i'm so tempted to but for the lack of time i just have a big big thank you to all my colleagues who have supported us to get this start. thank you now for the customary countdown ladies and gentlemen 10 9 8 7 6 